and welcome back to another video regarding the Pocket 4K's way of handling overexposure at different ISOs. Now, if you're a subscriber to the channel, I've been testing out how the Pocket 4K reacts in different situations in different ISOs. So in this test right here, this is a little bit more controlled as far as lighting goes. So basically in this setup right here, nothing changes but the ISO and the light intensity of my lights. I have a key light and I have that light blasting on this white card right here. So the white card right here is at F7.1 and then the key was at 1.8 and it's gonna stay the same exact way throughout the whole ISO changes. So what we have here is ISO 100, ISO 400 and somebody requested an ISO 1250, so here you go. So let's look at the ISO 100 and 400 real quick. It's better to see this if you have the waveform up. So control shift W and that's gonna pop up your uh, waveform here. So at ISO 100 and ISO 400, you can automatically see the difference. ISO 100 gives that little bit contrast and then the ISO 400 is flatter. Now, this is exactly the reason why you wanna shoot or at least try and shoot at native ISO almost every time because you are getting the best latitude on your camera. A lot of people are coming from the DSLR world, coming into a Pocket 4K. The way that Pocket 4K handles dynamic range is much different than your regular DSLR. So if you look at the 100, you will see that the four stops over exposure behind me is actually clipped by the camera even though the aperture did not change, nothing was changed but the ISO. We're gonna look at the second one, ISO 400, you see that the detail is back. So you can see right here, there's no flat line. And you look at the ISO 1250, flat. That means the detail is gone on the highlights. Mind you, this is just four stops over, guys. There are situations out there when you can be five, six, or seven. So what would happen then? What would happen to your image if you were to shot at ISO 100 in that situation? The thing that I forgot last time was highlight recovery. So with shooting Pocket 4K and using DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna have this thing called highlight recovery. And it's this box right here under the camera raw tab. If you click that, you are gonna get some detail back. But as you can see here, it still clips over the 1023 range on the waveform. We're gonna do the same exact thing on the highlight recovery for the ISO 400. Nothing happens. That's because the Pocket 4K at ISO 400 did not clip anything at all. We're gonna click on the ISO 1250, click on highlight recovery, and as you can see there, highlight recovery recovered some clipped highlights. So you can see here, ISO 100, we're gonna click it. We're gonna choose extended video. We're gonna go ahead and convert these. Extended video, extended video, by the way, if you haven't used it, geez, go do so if you have the camera because extended, extended video is pretty darn amazing. So looking at the ISO 100, very contrasty. It looks like I added some contrast here, but I didn't, that's zero. You go to 400 and it lightens up. The contrast kind of goes away. Now you can work with this, obviously, with highlight recovery, right? And we can even bring that down to, you know, level. But the whole point of it is, like I said, that's just plus four over. What do you think would happen if I blasted that light with, let's say, six stops? All right, guys, so this video is probably gonna be the last video I'm gonna do about the ISO range. I did it outdoors, I did it indoors in the control environment. If you have any questions, let me know.